Anthony J. Sanchez is our second write-in for this topic. Hey, Maddie and Carrick, Starfield has been discussed quite a bit on this show with a possible release of 2021. At least that's what many of us are hoping for, including Maddie. I understand that COVID may play a huge part in a possible delay. My question is more about what hardware will Starfield launch on? Will it be a current gen or PC only, or will it be held back by last gen architecture? My hope is that it's current gen only because I didn't because didn't Todd Howard say in 2016 that technology didn't exist yet for what they were working on. I would appreciate your thoughts. Thanks from sunny Florida for Elder Scrolls. He, he says for that. Starfield, but yeah, for 2016, that comment mm -hmm. was for Elder Scrolls. Yeah, that comment was for Elder Scrolls. Yes, yeah. I, I distinctly remember you and I talking about that, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just so you know, Anthony, you mix that up. Elder Scrolls 6, he said the reason it's so far off is because technology didn't exist yet for what they're working on. That was in a interview with Jeff Keighley, if anyone wants to yeah. go check that out again. Um, it's as always Todd Howard interviews are quite insightful. Uh, when it comes to Starfield, however, uh, Todd Howard had specifically also talked about this with cross gen stuff where they were undecided on it um, and kind of wanted to see what was necessary. And I think as more time goes on, um, you're going to see them shift to that next gen stuff. Um, I think this was also this conversation was just before 76 dropped. And I think now Bethesda Game Studios may understand they're in a situation where you know, 76 has bounced back. So I don't want to say their back is against the wall, but they don't have the wow factor as powerfully as they did with uh, really the last one was Fallout 4. But before that, when I talk about wowing people, I mean capturing an industry and really stopping everyone. Kind of like what we saw with Skyrim. They really haven't had that magic since. And I think what they need is sort of that oblivion magic where they go, let's just go in on next gen. This may be a fresh new console, just like oblivion. It was a year after it came out a number of months. It was in the following year, I should say. And um, I think they do that with Starfield. I think they commit. I think they go uh, full next gen. Um, right now, we don't have an official comment. I'll pull up Todd's actual quotes in just a moment here. Um, but Carrick, for you, what do you hope to see? What do you expect from Starfield in the terms of its technology. Do you think just given the shortage of consoles, it makes zero sense to say, hey, let's let's put this thing here. Do, is it is Game Pass a reason why they may go next gen only? Uh, you know, where, where do you sit on that? It does also make me feel like there might be a chance that was discussed when they did merge too. Mm. It was like, where are you with like, you know, can you make it for the old ones? Because I'll tell you what, you know, developers will him and haw. They always will. That's what developers are supposed to do. You know, it's like a race car driver. You got a car that's not as good, but you're still trying to figure out exactly, you know, how do you keep up with everybody else, that kind of thing. What's going on with the consoles is, you know, there's only been a very few games that are console-specific uh, improvements mm -hmm. and inversions. So I do not see them throwing away, like, the ability to sell through to PS4, let alone Xbox. It's mm -hmm. just, it doesn't even seem feasible for Bethesda of all companies who sold you Skyrim on a fridge to say, <laughs> we're not going to release this on fucking every single thing possible. Also, people forget, a lot of us have nice PCs. The majority of people do not. The majority yeah. of people do not have nice PCs. In fact, I think a 1080 is still like, the the. by the way, I'm not saying a 1080 is bad, but I'm saying I'm pretty sure 1080 or even less. And no, it's 1050 Ti is the card that is the most used on Steam. That is ancient as fuck. So I just, yeah, I don't see them passing it up. I do see them doing stuff where they're not going to have a problem, though, stating that this is only possible on this thing or that thing. Like, the, will there be more loads in some areas? Will there be less? Will mods be available on the, on the Series X and S, but not? And, and I'm, to be brutally honest, guys, I'm okay with that because how many times have you got a game like Skyrim and you got a shitty computer, you throw some mods in there and it crashes. Guess what? That's on you. Mm. That's on you. You have to buy yeah. a new video card to, to get the VRAM. So at some point, it's okay to say, hey, it'll run in its basic level on the Xbox or, or the PS4. That's my thought. Mm -hmm. So I brought up the exact quote here. This comes from Games Radar. This is July of 2018. This would obviously be post Fallout 76 announcement, pre Fallout 76 release, and obviously prior to... Uh, Bethesda being acquired by Xbox. Todd said, quote, what systems we put it out on, this is in reference to Starfield, what the hardware requirements is still to be determined, Howard said. We are pushing it. 
We're thinking very, very far into the future. So we're building something that will handle next generation hardware. That's what we're building on right now. That's where our mind is. But that doesn't mean it wouldn't exist on current gen systems as well, end quote. So does that change anything for you at all? Now no, that we that's have the exact exactly word? what I, that's exactly what I would think you would say. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, that's okay with me. Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, you know, the idea that it'll work on normal consoles, it just won't work in the same fashion or with the same, e even close to the same fidelity, which is normal. You know, it's not that w there's a par for a course thing where people expect like all these to do identical stuff. At some point, Microsoft and Sony already have shown us that they don't with quick resume or whatever. You don't have quick resume on your Xbox, you know, your normal Xbox. So there's some things I think Bethesda will probably do. Uh, to cheat their way and get it on the old systems. How good it'll look, I don't know. But remember when Cyberpunk tried to tell us that shit? They're like, mm -hmm. yeah, man, it's impossible to run on there. No, dude, it's impossible to run on my fucking 3080 Ti, let alone <laughs> your Xbox. Like, quit, quit bitching. You know, you're a lot, you're lying. You're lying. Like, there's, there are ways to get it, you know, on those older systems. And I think yeah. Bethesda knows that, man. There's just too much, there's too many users. There's there's too many users unless Microsoft figures out some way of getting an Xbox Series S into everybody's hands. Mm -hmm. Why pass up all those people who want to play your games? That's just me. Yeah, it's really it's really tough to say. I I think are you saying Starfield? I'm just making sure I understand. Are you thinking Starfield comes to PlayStation? I think if Starfield's coming to PlayStation at all. It would be for PS4 and PS5. It wouldn't just be for PS5. Okay. Is what I'm stating. Oh, and okay. my I'm first... making... Sorry, sorry. No, I'm just stating, I'm assuming that's what we were talking about is like getting it on old platforms. Not in, mm -hmm. not including the exclusivity for a second, but just getting it right. on old platforms. There's just right. no okay. way. Just making sure. Yeah, sorry. Yep, I get yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So... Yeah, with Starfield... Thanks for the I, clarification, because you know somebody a bitch Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I didn't want people yeah. to think, I, like, oh, he, he, he's in denial that it's going to be exclusive. Yeah. It's like, no, I think we're all pretty convinced Starfield will likely be yeah, we're, exclusive. Yeah, it's just like passing up that... Uh, the, yeah, yeah. Sorry, continue. Yeah. No, I, all I was going to say is, I, I believe... I'm of the mindset, and this may sound like an optimist, Um, I, I think... I think they're going to go for next gen. I think if he was thinking about building on it back in 2018, this was really two years prior to the world closing down that they may have, they, if they were really kind of toying with committing to next gen, they probably already did at that point in time without any expectation of, Hey, um, we're going, you know, we're going to be stopped and, and it's going to be harder to get these consoles and we're going to have a semiconductor shortage and all that shit. Um, so I feel like sort of the die has already been cast on that a little bit. I don't know how quickly they can retool, rework, and say, hey, let's let's scale this down for older consoles. I, I genuinely am just being open saying, I don't know how open or, or how easy that is. Um, I imagine... We'll I mean, if they got difficult. it on Switch, yeah, which is a completely different programming language on a shitty little handheld. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, yeah, I just think ultimately they are going to go for next-gen only. I just, I feel it makes the most sense for at so you least think, Xbox's plans. So not only saying 2021, you're also saying 2021 and Xbox on, Xbox Series only. Do you know how little the sales are for that? Yeah, 100%, I do. That's like selling to one-tenth of a tenth of a tenth of your consumer base. I think they like, do it, man. I, I, I don't know, man. I, the, the way I look, Where do they make I, that up? It would they take don't. years. I don't it. think they do. I, I think that's you the think benefit they... of being with Xbox. That's they don't got to. Oh, worry no, no. About I'm that talking about hard. Xbox. I'm talking about Xbox. Oh, Xbox. Like, yeah. I, I don't believe they need to make the 7.5 billion. You know, you always hear that. It's like mm. we need to make it all back. But it's like at some point, why get that if you're just going unless, especially now, you can't even make the systems. Yeah, no, and you make a completely know, fair counter argument, and, this is and be interesting go, I think see. it can go either way. I just, I am it of could. the mindset that sure. that if they were thinking about, uh, like I said, it's a, a die has already been cast. We can talk about now how well, fuck, you know, we we now we can't get these consoles out as often, but it's like, well, we're already making a next gen game. Like, what are we going to do? Remove systems and if stuff. If the like, die is already cast, then it is also for sure on PS4 and five, because the mm -hmm. die would have been cast back then too. Do you get my drift? On that. You don't think they could have just dropped those skews and just said, you know, hey, we're, like that's it, we're we're owned by Xbox. They've sort of bought us out. We're gonna drop working. No, on these because by the and... time that happened, COVID was happening. So we're talking about his comment, which mm. would have been 
prior mm. to this. So the thing is, you Eric, can't you have one without the other. You dismantled me, you piece of Sorry. shit. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying. But do you see what I'm saying? I'm saying we can't have one no, without the other. No, I think you're, you're right. I Which think you're fair. could yeah. be interesting, Maddie. What if the deal on Starfield turns out to be, oh, it's going to be on everything mm. because. People would be very upset. <laughs> they would. But it's going to be on everything because like of the issues that have happened or it's going to be a system seller only for xbox s and x not on the original and then they do something like you buy it and you get a year of gold or not a year that's a lot uh or what if they pack it in bethesda could be a pack-in can you imagine a what if they call it the starfield like christmas myself. <laughs> I know I, I, I'm mm, sorry but I'm mm. just saying you can't do both so it's like you got to figure out how they're going to do it but that, they could also do like it's a Starfield Christmas and <laughs> suddenly you buy your Xbox X and there's your Starfield for free in it as a pack-in that'd be funny I or game yeah games. I see I, I think it's feasible more feasible than what I think is going to happen that they'll do full Xbox lineup and PC for Starfield with scaled back things um for the the older generation you know it's just i i can't help but shake the feeling that if you're developing for next gen and just trying to make it. it work yeah you're just gonna go for it so yeah it's really honestly it's something that we don't know definitively in, in the sense of if it's easy for them to scale back you're 100 percent right if it's easy for them to scale back in the sense of saying all right let's just put this on xbox one and one x um and they and and we'll just have it supported on these games if they can scale that back easily then it's going your way 100 percent. but if they can't do that then i think yeah they're just fully committed to the xbox lineup and it's about what money microsoft put in their pocket to say hey fuck the playstation version <laughs> you know <laughs> hey you know that, it'll be a was, telling game it, sony it, was buy, game. trying to buy exclusivity meaning bethesda was open to it Sony right. was trying to buy exclusivity for Starfield. So there is the chance that what I stated is not right and that you could have it both ways. Not only would it be exclusive, but it would also not be on Sony. What I'm saying is the timeline there is tight as foot. Is it yeah. something is said, then the consoles are being made. Boom. The moment the consoles are even starting to be made, COVID. And it wasn't a small thing. It was like it hit China first, which is where yes, they were made. We're making like it, yeah. we saw them years later. It was a year before people were like, oh, man, we're running out. And people like me who were like looking at China going, dude, they're the ones making them. They were it, like, it's taken this long for the supply chain to dry up. Like, mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's this is why it's going to be interesting to see not only ignoring all of who gets what. What does Microsoft do to make you want it on the Xbox? Because Phil or the Xbox exclusive on the xbox x and s or exclusive on the xbox xbox s xbox x xbox series <laughs> he has to do he has to do something for both Here's, what i mean by yeah, that is it, it, you gotta okay. sell me on a series x or yes, you have to sell me on the xbox say. version and i think that's mods i think it's mods mm. it yeah that's be. exactly what i was gonna say is how long to carry this just a step forward, how long is too long for, and this doesn't even have to be Starfield, but we'll stick on it. You also want to reward the consumer base who's bought into your brand new system, right? And I understand yep. the notion of holding back certain games, waiting for certain games to, to make sure that you have the base there and not going all in and transferring too fast. But we've had the medium, which was, you know, console series exclusive. And... That was a digital only release. It's going to do physical soon. Um, but I look at something like that and I think, how, how, how long do you expect your consumer base to be patient and not say like, hey, I bought this shiny new toy, not to just play Xbox One games. I want to play Xbox Series games and not just the fucking medium, which you don't play. You, you walk. This is a question though, Maddie, that you're, you're holding the very answer in your hands right now. An Apple iPad. Not in your hands. Maybe it's in front of you. <laughs> Here it is. But oh, Android right. and Apple folks have been dealing with this for years. How long does Android update the old phone? What type of games can you play? Can the game still be played? When, when do you go to Google Play, hit play, and it says this is not compatible with your current devices? Mm -hmm. Right? So I agree with you. How, how long is the answer? And I think a lot of us would rather have it sooner rather than later. I just don't know if the market 
So like you and I know, Microsoft wants to reward a gamer for buying into their system. So does Sony. What I'm stating is it is physically impossible to do so if the game is not ready. Mm. And we mm. don't know like what systems it's even going to be on in their own, ignoring Sony. I'm talking about just their own and, and who they're going to be making it for there. We, like that's what's, I mean, does Microsoft do the thing where they just are like, we're going to treat PC like Xbox and mm -hmm. make it a big PC release and then a year later do the console? And I know people are going to hate me saying that, but it's absolutely possible. People are not understanding that a split port release of Microsoft's big games is absolutely possible. It's, been, it's happened with Halo. So if you don't believe it can happen, you're wrong. Halo only came out on Vista, I think. Halo 3. It was like Vista or... I think it was God, 3. Man. Halo 3. God. Yeah, dude. One of them only came out on like Vista and you had to... You know, there were hacks to get it to run. But these, this is not unknown. And if one is ready for power-wise, they may say Xbox Series S and X and PC 2021. 2022, Xbox Original. Or maybe they say consoles 2022 Halo 2, by piece. the way Halo 2 uh do they say you know consoles all get it in 2021 PC mm -hmm. gets it in 2022 or it's 2022 for the for the PC and then the consoles are are, are you know next year I also think mess. xCloud I'm just really changes this. how this oh, all pans out yeah. because yeah. we are in a currently and I think this is going to change soon within the next month we're currently in an iOS list xCloud streaming world um, and yeah. so I think once you can get access to game streaming there where game pass can now just be simply available on my tablet, uh, here, my iPad that I use for our show. Um, that's, I think, can you justify as a series exclusive launch by saying, well, we have game pass and we can have people stream our game to yeah. that type of stuff. Exactly. And we don't know what the, the TV app is going to look like. We talk about that a shit ton because that's super important to the future of this, uh, service. So I think a lot of pieces have to fall in place, but I think we both have very valid thoughts on which way the, this can go for Starfield and many other games that will follow suit. Um, I will say, though, PlayStation's doing Horizon Forbidden West for both both gens and maybe even God of War, seemingly. Um, then it's very well possible that Starfield is. I, <laughs> Bethesda, I think, is going to be sure. ambitious, but I don't know if suddenly they're going to be the tech marvel trying to really push the, <laughs> well, that, the bleeding yeah, that's edge another of consoles. Thing, right? <laughs> yeah, that is another thing. It's not necessarily yeah. like their games are... God of War made a big change, you know, with their fake loading screen. You know, it was loading, but it was like you, they were hiding it very well in the way oh, yeah, it worked. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's pretty tough on older systems. So, yeah, we'll see. It'll be interesting regardless. Mm -hmm. And I think people will get the best version probably regardless because I think Microsoft, if they delayed Halo, they'll delay anything. And, I and uh, obviously, yeah. I think... Uh, Bethesda already is okay with it. Well, except for Fallout. But you get my drift. Normally, they're okay. This was pre-sale Bethesda. We'll see what Have new, you guys... oh, new form Bethesda is. And Maddie, this is the problem. Every time you and I bring up one company, there's always that caveat title now. Even Sony was stayed uh, 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 Days Gone. Remember? like we're, It's always like, oh, they do perfect third-person games. Days Gone. It's like, okay, well, not perfect now. And yeah. then it's like, oh, well, Microsoft, blah, blah, blah. Halo Master Chief Collection. You're like, shit, all right, not that one. And it's like, no matter what now, there's always... Nintendo's probably... Nintendo. Nintendo just be... gets away with shit that... The, the, the yeah. ports and stuff like they just get away with it's it that's true. the difference they right they do it. they do dumb shit and people are just I mean, like yeah, their new stuff okay. is genuinely good right oh, yes. what i mean by Sorry, that is if it's a sequel releases, yeah. if it's a named sequel like a mario they wouldn't treat mario with the disdain and the nut crunching shittiness that microsoft treated master chief collection would they I don't know. They took the Mario 3D All Stars collection and just said, "Hey, fucking throw it on a cartridge and call it a day. Charge them sixty bucks." Dude, Master losers. Chief like, collection didn't work. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm such a boner for that. No, everybody's no, going to be like, true, "Dude, though. that's all he brings up." It's their primary IP. So no, yes, it's true. It. Especially back but. then, man. That was major. That was one of the reasons I bought an Xbox. Oh, dude, it was going to be the shit, wasn't it? Like, it was, like yeah, every I mean, it's good. It is now, but every Halo, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, it's good. It's going to be a wild time this year because I think uh, you're going to see stuff from Rare too. Oh I yes, really ever wild. I, 
but also and other stuff. stuff. I believe yeah. that we might see like Sea of Thieves 2.0 kind of thing. Like I know people, cool. I do, yeah, and I don't mean like a sequel. I just mean it feels like they might do something huge because mm -hmm. they patch that game a lot. They do a lot of work on it, and it's bringing them a ton of cash, and people love it. So there's a well, lot of top Game Pass games. Do. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we actually have the the, Not the placement for it. We don't have the numbers, but we have the placement for it, which says a lot with almost 20 million members. Mm -hmm.